you have as many bear points in your property as I do and in your dumpster, you'll be for the bear hunt. This is um, a coral reef. If I'm going in here, if I take out one organism or one part of the food chain, I'm looking at how everything interacts in there, and that would be a community. The whole ecosystem looks at all of the organisms, their physical environment, both the living and the non-living, in an area. So you have your biotic and your abiotic. Uh, this includes um, oh, abiotic availability of water. What's going to happen during the drought? Um, if, it's, if it's heating up, things that are happening um, in Alaska as there is some heating up and some change in the season, what grows there changes. When I change what grows there, I change what can live there. Did that help at all? Yeah. yeah. Um, the community can be the whole sunny to crystal mountains or it can be um, bacteria living in your mouth. You know. Abiotic is non-living. That is why it doesn't include plants. Like when I think of this Okay, yeah. Yeah, biotic, anything that's alive, abiotic, amount of sun, amount of uh, rain, how much wind. We have whole species of trees because it, they usually live by the coast and they, they kind of grow in a plant. <laughs> You put them over here and there's no women. So here we have an ecosystem. Here's a savanna ecosystem. With, we've got the watering pump here and you'll be looking at all of those interactions. Okay. Ecosystem is concerned with the energy flow. That is the recycling of nutrients through the environment. Nutrients. Food. Where does my energy go? And a lot of science is about, you know, energy and sharing it and moving it from here to there. It contains both your biotic, your living, and your abiotic, your non-living things. Where does it fit into um, that food chain? What is its niche? Um, I think this is nice because it kind of gives us more idea about your, not your abiotic. How much sun, how much water, wind, air, chemical, um, temperature, hot and cold. A lot of our manufacturing cities are up north, kind of in the northeast. And wind paths, how to go the chemicals and pollutants. Some of the big cities up in the forest and the south. And the harm to the forest. Okay, niche. Who Biotic interactions of, is interaction between living organisms. They can be useful, beneficial, they can be detrimental, they can be harm, or neutral. Both some people saw nothing really new. Speaking back to your niche, um, there's an island where they have lost all their teeth. How many of you have heard about the food problem? It's frightening in there. You think the little bees, you know, oh, get off your bees. Uh, there are colonies. Without them, there is no harvest. Uh, and, and there is a uh, virus. 
known or, or the known they've actually found it was either fungal or viral or something. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. This is a nest, if they go and then they can't find their way home. And so it, it's causing a dissolution of the, of the, of the bees, the hive. Well, imagine. I mean, it's one island. They've lost all their bees, you know. And so they had to go in and they have to get the pollen. And they 